Hey, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to be talking about thermal expansion tanks on older hot water systems. Now, this is a gravity conversion. You can see the um, supply and return pipes are very large. They're like a three inch, and uh, this, I believe, is two and a half. And so we've got a lot of water in these old systems because of the large pipes. And when they do that, um, you're going to need a bigger expansion tank um, than what is normally found on some of the newer systems. Usually the expansion tank is a, a propane, barbecue propane grill size unit that's hung on the bottom of this air scoop here. Um, but that's usually not going to be enough to handle that, uh, handle these systems because when you heat water, uh, it expands. And so you need a, a better space for it. The other thing that you need to be able to do is to isolate and drain these systems to check the air pressure. Um, there seems to be a idea out there that these things don't require maintenance. That is not true at all. When they come um, as out of the package, they're going to be pressurized at about 12 PSI. So what you want to do is, of course, check that with a um, low pressure tire gauge here under this Schrader valve. Um, check that pressure. And uh, if you have a three story house like this one is, you're going to need to um, pump it up to uh, about 18 PSI, which is the rule of thumb. So you have a first floor house, you need only about eight pounds of air pressure. Uh, two story house, you need about 12, that's rule of thumb. And a three story house, you need about 18. And you need to do that with the pressure of the water in the system uh, drained. Uh, if you just simply check the pressure with the system uh, still attached and um, then what will happen is you'll simply get a reading of the system pressure, but you might only have a couple of pounds left in there. And the reason that happens is over time, the air in this tank bleeds through the rubber diaphragm and is lost. And you need to periodically check it every couple of years or so and top it off as necessary. If you don't do that, the rubber will eventually be distended completely and a lot of times it'll just simply fail. The evidence of that would be the relief valve there uh, dribbling all over the floor when the system uh, runs, particularly the main zone, uh, as this system here has been zoned out to a fare thee well. And uh, other people have come along and replaced that, uh, that valve using ProPress. So if that starts leaking and needs to be uh, repaired, then it um, it will probably uh, you know I need to cut that pipe and spin that off and use another fitting. That's problem is with pro presses it's irreversible and usually you've cut off any uh, evidence or you you've cut off you made the hard work harder for somebody else. In here, like I say, I've got a drain. At least there's an isolation valve there, and um, be able to cut this out pretty easily and. Uh, work on it should it be necessary. So, like I said, if you can't drain, you can't maintain. I hope this uh, is helpful. Moving forward, give me a like and subscribe. Any comments or questions, leave them below, and I'll try to answer them when I can. Thanks again. Stay safe and happy uh, heating.